it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title down there, today we are doing this makeup tutorial right here. It is on the Pure and Raw Beauty Christie um, collab. It is double sided, which is pretty cool because you have your neutrals and then you have your super colorful shadows and I was just super excited to create this look right here. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there and if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So this is, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this, but this is the packaging right here and then it has the names of the shades and the picture of Christy and it says um, Pure X Raw Beauty Christy Double Sided Pressed Pigment Palette. When it comes to amplifying your raw beauty, there are no rules. Get creative with your own unique aesthetic with this limited edition 18 piece press pigment palette curated in collaboration with Raw Beauty Christy. This palette's features can live without shades ranging from cool and warm everyday neutrals to bold, inspiring colors that are uniquely formulated to deliver unrevealed color payoff and highly blendable textures. It has like a rose gold um, tint to it, the letters, and this is the neutral side. And these are the shadows, like, look at those. They are so pretty. And then for the colorful side, it has a holographic um, to it on the lettering. And then these are the shades, which I am so in love with them. Like, they look stunning. I really like that she didn't go for the um, normal rainbow range, um, which I really like. And then guys, I actually cleaned all my, my eye brushes because I wanted to have everything available for this look. So the day of the, I actually did put like an alarm um, in like a little calendar reminder uh, to know when the palette was going to go live because obviously I needed to get it so the day of the launch it was so crazy um it was i felt so bad because um obviously christy didn't expect for her to get so much traffic on the website and she was just apologizing because it was kind of a mess um there were so much people on the website that like we crashed it did not work the website crashed and it was kind of like annoying but like obviously it was crazy because I have seen this happen with other people and other influencers where like the website crushes and people are so upset at the creator um, instead of like obviously the company is the one responsible for putting it together first I'm gonna take the shade my whole heart which is this one right here and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid lids so that I can set the concealer I love that she included a cream shade I think I'm gonna start off with B which is this one right here and I'm gonna start off that on my crease I'm gonna slowly start blending this upward just really light circular motions and just bringing it upward why is my camera not focusing Christy was super apologetic. She was just like obviously upset a little bit because the website crashed. And the Pure um, team was, I'm sure, working really hard to figure something out. So they did kind of like a waiting line um, and you could sign up to get in line and wait for, the, um, for your turn to buy the palette. I was fortunate enough uh, to actually get the palette because... Um, I actually waited in line for I think it was like nine hours I let the tab open on my phone so I was like in line and I could just refresh it to see where like how close I was to like getting that so I think I ended up like at midday I think that day in line and actually the next day so the whole like that whole Saturday was um, the website was down and they figured that to do the waiting line the next day so the sunday um but yeah i was able to buy the palette and then the other thing is that i didn't get a notification that it shipped and that it was delivered with certain packages um i send them to my sister's house because i live in an apartment and i'm just scared that somebody's gonna steal it in case i'm not home and sometimes my usps or amazon or whoever like they don't knock they just literally just leave it outside my door and um 
So I was a little scared and I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to send it to my sisters. Next, I'm going to go in with um, Camelot, which is this yellow mustardy shade. And I'm going to blend that um, on my brow, brow bone. I'm actually going to take um, Copper Boxes, which is this one, and then I'm going to go in with that one. Like I said, I didn't get a notification that it shipped. So I kept waiting and waiting for my sister to tell me, and she forgot to tell me. I mean, the box, the name was a little weird, so it didn't say from, like, Pure Cosmetics. So my sister didn't know that it was from them. Um, but yeah, apparently I got it, like two days or three days after I had ordered it. And then I'm going to apply that um, Camelot, which is the mustard shade. So far, the shades have been blending beautifully. No, um, a little bit of fallout, but I mean, we get fallout with every other eyeshadow palette. And um, but yeah, they have been blending really, really nice with each other. And then I'm going to bring back that first shade that we use, which is B. This one right here. I'm going to take a little bit of Camelot again, which is the mustard shade. Um, and I'm just going to blend a little bit right here. So I just take a uh, makeup remover and kind of map out my cut crease with that. I'm going to take a Morphe M167 and I'm going to go in with the shade I told you which is this one right here. And I'm going to go in with the shade B, which is this corner right here, and I'm going to apply that right here. I'm going to take my pigment drops from Peaches, um, and I'm going to grab the pigment shade Wow, which is a like coppery shade. Okay, so I did the liner and I think I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Camelot, which is the yellow one. And I'm just going to bring that, bring back a little bit of that yellow right here. So now I'm going to move on to this side, which is the colorful one. And we're going to flip it to this side. So I'm going to take um, the shade Hurtful, which is the blue one right here. And I'm going to apply that in my inner corner. Wow. And then with that same brush, I'm going to take the shade Tribute, which is the purple one right here. <sighs> yeah, that one's definitely a little bit more matchy. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Do you see that? Like, I apply it and I pack it on. And I feel like that's going to be the way. Um, to blend, I'm going to go in with the, another, with, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M514. And I'm going to first blend the purple and I'm going to take the shade Side Effect, which is this super, um, deep, <laughs> super bright, uh, pink. I'm just having a little bit of trouble. It 
it's like really really patchy I'm gonna grab a clean M506 and just gently um, blend my edges here but I it's super Super patchy. Went back with uh, the purple one, which is um, Tribute, and I'm just kind of like patting the shade. Going back with the pink side effect. I'm gonna take the shade um, Garden State, which is this teal one, and I'm gonna blend the blue. Like these ones were super easy to blend, um, but then these ones, like they look really like patchy. I'm like patting the color in, but what I've noticed is like, what if I need like need to blend that? You know what I mean? Because once I place the shade, do you see that? It's like super bright, but then what if I need to literally like blend it? start bringing this back and then I'm gonna do the uh, bright yellow right here on my crease apply the Suba Beauty Hydra Fix liner in the shade um, Space Panda which is the, bla the black one which is the white one and I'm just gonna follow that little bit line that I left so I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes I do my face and I'll be right back Okay, so as you guys can see, I have my face complete because I am filming a first impression on the uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh. That one should be up after this video. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you can actually get notified when that video goes live. And I'm going to go and work on my lower lash line and I'm going to start off with the neutral side. And I'm just going to do a very simple look. I'm actually currently uh, watching Glam and Gore. Um, Mikey's channel and she's actually using this palette as well and she's using the colorful, colorful side and hers blended like perfectly and like I can see she's not getting a lot of fallout and like I don't know I had a lot of, a little bit of trouble with that pink and the purple so actually all the shades except for the yellow one because I didn't blend it into anything I'm going to take a little bit of B for my lower lash line and this is a Beauty Creations brush. It's just a packer brush and I'm just going to pack this and I'm going to start off with having the deeper on the outer corner and I'm going to just drag the rest onto my inner corner. Another M506. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Camelot right here. And I'm gonna just blend that. And we're gonna move on to the colorful side. <laughs> and I think uh, I wanna bring that orange, which is um, in my orange. This one right here. And I'm gonna bring that with the Beauty Creations brush. Slowly bringing it into the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take um, 
the shade Dandelion, which is the yellow one. This one right here. And I'm gonna blend that onto the my Orange. I'm gonna take the shade Golden Ticket, which is this in, right in the middle. I'm gonna take Golden Ticket and I'm gonna apply that in my inner corner. And then cleaning that same brush. I'm gonna take Cafe Disco, which is this in the middle. I'm just not very happy with the eyeliner and this side it came out a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be but it's okay <laughs> okay so now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara for my neutral side uh, I'm just gonna take a cream liner this is the NYX wonder pencil You can definitely wear a um, dark shade pencil, like a black one or a brown one. Um, I just prefer using a cream shade just because it keeps my eye a little bit more open. And then for the colorful side, I think I'm going to take this ColourPop shade, this ColourPop eyeliner, and this is in the shade Punch. These are not available anymore because they were like a bundle that they were having, which is going to go with uh, kind of like the shade we have on the cut crease. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun creating these two looks. I was a little bit nervous about this side. And then, I mean, I ended up having a little bit of trouble. But I just need to play with it. And we'll see how good I can get with those pigments. But, I mean, I love how both looks came out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe a little bit down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!